All right. Well, let's start with a nice easy march. We'll lift the chest, pull the shoulders back, and breathe evenly. We're going to take this into a push pull with the upper body, breathing through it. Squeeze those shoulder blades back in together, brace through the core. All right, let's take this into an overhead reach. Reach it up nice and high, stretching through the upper back and shoulders. You got it. Stretch it out. Two more. Back to the march. Nice big shoulder circles here, pulling back and down. Exhale as you pull. And squeeze those shoulder blades, keeping that chest lifted. That's it. One more here. And we'll take it into a body weight squat. Nice wide stance. Inhale, exhale, pressing through the heels. Don't worry too much about the depth of your squat. Just try to get warmed up by pushing those hips back, pressing the chest out to maintain a flat back. Inhale, exhale, two more. And one. All right, well, let's get started with the rounds. First thing we're going to do is a squat with a leg raise. So we're going to squat, right side leg raise. As you squat, Make sure that you're pressing your heels into the floor and then lift, keeping that heel pressed down. We're going to do eight right, eight left. In between, we're going to take this into a standing, pull, pressing the thumbs back. All right, let's do it. So, wide stance, just wider than shoulder width apart, chest lifted, shoulder back. Let's start with our squat. Ready? Right side only. Eight, seven, heel down. Six, five, you've got it. Three, two, over to the left side. Eight, seven, squeeze the glute by pushing the heel down toward the floor and keeping those toes lifted. That's it, two to go. Two, one, to a T, palms up, chest lifted. We're gonna come out to the side, pull the shoulders back and release. Exhale, pull the shoulders back and release. Breathing deeply, going for 10, four down, exhale, pull. Imagine that you're pulling the shoulder blades back and together. Visualize the pop can between your shoulders. And the goal here is to crush the pop can. Three more, three, just a soft elbow bend, two, one more here, one. Back to those squats, your right side, here we go. Squat, right leg lift. That's it. Six, five, four, three, two, switch it out. Another side. Eight, heel down, toe up. Seven, six, you got it. Five, four, push through, push through. Three, two, one, standing T's, palms up, thumbs out. Here we go. Ten. Exhale on the pull, squeeze those shoulder blades back and together, breathing deeply. Now with this move, if you find your chin coming slightly forward, just try to tuck it back to keep the chin parallel to the floor and to prevent that forward head ball. That's it, three more. Three, two, one left, we're going back to squats. One more round, here we go, right side, eight. Seven, six, five, you got it. Or squeeze the glute. Three, nice and low. Two, over to the left. Eight, seven, six, press through those heels, chest out, back flat. Three more. Three, two, standing T's, palms up, thumbs back, shoulder pull back. Here we go. Ten. Squeezing through the shoulder blades, driving those thumbs back. Exhale on the pull and inhale on the release. That's it. Breathing deeply. Five more. Five. Four. Three. Keep it up. Two. One more here. One. And shake up those shoulders. All right, next round. So. 
we're going to take this into a single arm lunge, which means opposite leg forward to the arm that's extended, other hand on the hip, we're going to lunge and press up. So once again, we're going eight and eight, and then we're going to take this into a row. Now, if you've got dumbbells, you can take this into a bent over row. If you're standing, feel free to join me. In the, or if you're doing body weights, feel free to join me in the standing position. So lunges, right leg back, which means right arm is coming up, left hand on the hip, left leg forward, shoulders back, chest lifted. Let's go for eight. Here we go. Eight, nice and low. Seven, breathing deeply. Six, try to maintain strong posture throughout this move. Press that forward heel into the floor. Two more, two, and one. Other side, step it forward with the right, back with the left, left arms coming up, shoulders back. Let's go. Eight, that's it. Seven, try to steady yourself through the core and drive that shoulder up. You've got it, three more. Three, two, one. Bench the rows or standing rows. Palms up, shoulders back. Hold the abdominals in. Start at rib cage height. Ready? Here we go. Ten. Imagine that you're pulling your elbows together. Squeeze. That's it. Exhale and pull. Inhale on the release. Focusing on strong posture. Three more. Three. Two. One, back to lunge. So we're going right leg back, left leg forward, right arm up, shoulders back. Let's do it. Eight, seven, you've got this. Six, drop that back knee down so that the shin is parallel to the floor. Two more, two, and one. Over to the other side. Place that hand, palm facing in, chest lifted. Here we go. Eight, seven, you can do it. Six, breathing deeply. Five, maintain an upright posture through the trunk. Two more, two, and one. Standing rows, palms up, shoulders back, abs in. Let's go. 10, pulling those elbows back and together. Once again, check your neck and shin position. If you find that your head is bobbing forward, keep that chin tucked back and parallel to the floor. Three more. Three, two, one. One more round. Lunges, right leg back, left leg forward, right arm up. Let's go. Eight, don't forget to push off from the front leg heel. That's where you want to keep your weight distributed. That's it. Four. Three. Two. One. Over to the other side. One more lunge. Left leg back. Left arm coming up. Shoulder set back. Let's go. Eight. Seven. Keep that chest upright. Six. Abs are pulled in. Belly button toward the spine. You got it. One more, and rows. Palms up, shoulders back, chin tucked back. Let's go for 10, 10. Squeezing through those shoulders, nine. Last set of these, eight. Strong posture, seven, six. Get that squeeze, five, four, three, two, one left, one. All right, shake it out, grab a water break, catch a breather, and we'll go to our next round. Up. We're going to take this into a deadlift position. So, if you've got dumbbells at home, feel free to add a weight. If you're following me in the body weight move, fingertips in front of the thighs, chest lifted, shoulders back, hands really, really close to the body. If you're holding dumbbells, your thumbs should skim the front of your legs before you come up. All right, we're going to take it into... A right side, left side dead, deadlift. So we're gonna stagger those feet. Chest lifted, shoulders back. Here we go. Eight, hinging from the hips. Seven, keep those arms nice and tight to the body. 
Drive the heels into the floor. Push the chest out and press the glutes back. Two more. Two. And one. Over to the other side. Left foot forward, right foot back. Chest lifted, shoulders back. Here we go. Staggered stance. Eight. Now you might feel a little bit more of a stretch in your staggered stance position in the forward leg, heel, or hamstring. And that's great. You should feel a little bit more of a stretch there. Press those heels into the floor. One more here. One. Ooh, all right. We're going to take this into a straight arm pullback. So feet shoulder width apart and fold forward. Let your arms hang down. Looks like you're carrying gross traumatic or holding something. From here, we're going to drive back. As we pull the shoulder blades back, there's a slight arcing motion, a little bit of a circular motion coming backward, pulling back and together. All right, let's do it. 10 reps. Fold forward, chest out, back flat. Here we go. 10. So we're slightly cheating as we pull. That's it. Squeeze those shoulder blades. Pull back. You got it. Exhale on the pull. Inhale on the release. Three more. Three. Squeezing the shoulders. Two. One more here. One. And come back to standing. Deadlift. Staggered stance. Right foot forward. Left foot back. Fingertips in front of the thighs. Chest lifted. Shoulders back. Here we go for eight. Eight. Engine from the hips. Seven. Drive those heels into the floor. Six. Push those glutes back. Brace to the core by keeping the belly button pulled in toward the spine and the hands just just in front of the thighs. And switch over to that left side, left foot forward, right foot back, chest lifted, shoulders back. Ready? Here we go. Eight. Hinging from the hips. Seven. Breathing through it. Six. Try to push that chest out to make sure that you're not rounding in the back. That's it, two more, two, one. Bent over, straight arm pull back. So feet shoulder width apart, fold forward. Let those arms hang and push the chest out. Let's go for 10, 10. As you raise, nine, it's just a slight arcing motion. Just enough to get a rotation of the shoulders so that you can pull those shoulder blades back in together. Imagine that you're trying to Pull the elbows toward one another. That's it. Three more. Three. Two. One left. One left. One. And release back to deadlift. Standard stance. Feet shoulder width apart. Place those hands in front of the thighs. Lift the chest. Shoulders back. Here we go. Eight. Breathing deeply. Seven. Try to draw your belly button in. And once again, keep those arms really close to the body, whether you're lifting weight or performing the body weight version. Two more. Two. And one. Over to the other side. Left foot forward, shoulders back, hands in front of the thighs. Here we go. Heels into the floor. Ten. Oh, eight, not ten. <laughs> Seven. Six. Breathing through it. Five. You got this. Four. Keep it up. Three. Two more. Two more. Two. And one. All right. One more shoulder flexion here. Feet shoulder width apart. Arms hanging down. Chest pushed out. Here we go. Ten. Again, try to arc slightly so that you can squeeze those shoulder blades back and together. You should feel this right through the mid back. The lower traps, the traps are a kite muscle that runs from the base of the neck down to the mid back. And we're getting this bottom portion of it here. Two more. Two. One. And relax. Pick up that lower back, grab some water here. We're gonna go to our next round. Up next, curtsy lunge. So in this move, it takes a little bit of balance. So if you're not sure, or you've never done the move before, feel free to hold on to the back of the chair or the wall. So in this movement, we're going to show you from the front and from the side. The shoulder width apart. The right leg is going to curtsy diagonally into a lunge and back up to shoulder width apart. 
from the side, we're basically crossing over and then coming back up right up to this realm. So as I mentioned, it does take part of the development. In between, chest press out. If you've got a dumbbell, you can also hold the head of the dumbbell as you press out. All right, let's start with our curtsy lunge. So feet shoulder width apart. Use your arms for balance, however you need to, either at your sides or in front of your chest. All right, let's get going just the right leg. Here we go. Eight, 45 degrees back. Seven, dropping that back knee down. Six, as this does take a lot of balance. Five, try not to rush through. Four, breathing deeply. Three, that's it. Two, one more here. One, over to that left leg. Left leg coming right. Here we go. Eight, again, use the arms for balance as needed. Seven, press the heel into the floor on that forward leg. That's it. Breathe through it. Four more. Four. You've got it. Three. Keep it up. Two. One more here. One. Chest press out. Palms together. Holding a dumbbell or body weight. Shoulders back. Chin back. Press those palms together. Here we go. Press it out. Ten. Push and pull. Nine. Let tension build in your pecs. But you should also feel the backs of the shoulders stabilizing. That's it. Breathe through it. Squeeze the glutes. Soft knee bend. Three more. Three. Two. One. All right, back to our curtsy lunges. Feet. Shoulder width apart. Shoulder back. Use those arms for balance. We're going right leg to the left. Here we go. Eight. That's it. Seven. You should really feel this sort of on the outside of the left glute. So you're getting nice and low here and then pushing off. That's it. Three more. Three. Two. One more. One more. One. Over to the left leg. Going right. Here we go. Eight. Breathing deeply. Seven. Crisscross that knee. And drop it down. Get nice and low to the floor in that lunge. You got it. Three more. Three. Two. One more. One. Chest press out. Bring those palms together or hold the dumbbell. Shoulders back. Palms pressed together. Let's go. Ten. Tension on. Nine. Gentle knee bend. Chest lifted. Eight, keep squeezing. Seven, push through this. Six, five, keep pushing into the palms. Four, three, two, and one. All right, one more round of curtsy. Right leg, feet shoulder width apart, shoulders back. Here we go. Eight, nice and low here. Seven. Again, we're not rushing through these. Six. Breathe deeply. Five. Bring that back knee down. Four. Try to stay steady. Three. Pushing off with the front leg heel. Two. One more here. One. Go over to the other side. Left leg coming back to the right. Here we go. Eight. Drop that knee down. Seven. Nice and low here. Six. Keep the weight on the heel. Five. Use those arms as needed. Four. Almost there. Two left. Two. And one. One more chest press out. Palms together. Shoulders back. Slight knee bend. Let's go. Ten. You got it. Nine. Brace the core. Pull those abdominals in. Keep the chin tucked back. Focus on the chest, but make sure that the backs of the shoulders are stabilizing. Three more. Three, two, and one. All right, shake it up. Grab some water here. Catch a breather. Let that heart come down. So up next, three point squats. We're going to make some wide. Starting with the right hand, we're going to reach down toward the floor. 
So you can either have your hip on your hip or the arm extended, whatever's your preference. Touch down and up. If you can't make it all the way to the floor, not a problem. Just reach or place an implement on the floor that you can touch down to. In between, we're going to take it into a standing flat pull down. All right, let's do a nice wide stance. Left arm up over at your side, right hand's coming down. Here we go. Eight, seven, all the way to the floor if you can. That's it. Drive those hips back. Open up through the adductors. Two, one, left side. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five. You've got it. Four. Three, two, one. Flat pull down. Bring those arms up. Feet shoulder width apart. As we pull, the hands are going to rotate slightly, facing in, and then release. Now, we're pulling back and down. Let's go for 10. 10. Squeeze through the elbows. Nine. Imagine that you're going to try to pull your elbows together. Breathe through it. Brace the core. Four. Three, out of rotation, two, one. Three-point squat. Nice wide stance. Right hand coming down, left hand out. Let's go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Switch it up, other side. Eight, seven. Six, nice and low. Five, four, three, get as low as you can. Two, one, lap, pull down, feet shoulder width apart, arms up, shoulders and chin back. Here we go. 10, squeeze those elbows. Nine, breathing deeply. Eight, really pull. That's it. Exhale, inhale, breathe through this. Soft knee bend. Three more. Two. One. One more three point squat. Wide stance. Right arm up. Let's go. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Switch over to the other side. Eight. Seven, six, five, nice and low. Four, three, chest down. Two, one, lap pull down, feet shoulder width apart, arms up, shoulders back. Here we go. Ten, rotating through the shoulders. Nine, hold those elbows back and together. Imagine that your elbows are going to touch behind your back. Exhale, all the pull. Pull. Inhale on the release. That's it. Three more. Three, two, and one. Ooh, all right, shake up those shoulders. Grab a water break here, catch a breather. On to our next round. So, up next, we're going to take this into a squatting calf raise. So, we're going to hold a squat, and then with the hands on the hips, we're going to alternate in the calf raise. So, instead of doing eight and eight, we're going to alternate for 16. In between, we're going to take this to a swimmer. I'll show you this one from behind. So, we're going to place the palms up behind the lower back and then back up. When you pull back up, the hands should not be coming forward. You're trying to pull them back as much as you can, maintaining posture. All right, let's go into that squatting, alternating calf raise. Squat down, shoulders back. Start with the right leg, alternating for 16. One, two, three, four. Squeeze the calf. Stay low, shoulders back. Focus on posture. You've got it. Exhale up. Squeeze through that lower leg. Four more. Four, three, two, one. Swimmers, draw those arms up. Pull them back. Chest lifted, chin back. Place the hands behind the lower back and up. Behind the lower back 
Stand up. That's it. Keep this going. Three. Back up. Four. Back up. Five. Get nice and open through that chest. Six. Keep the chin tucked back. Seven. Eight. Working through those shoulders. Two more. Nine. Ten. All right. Shake it out. Squatting calf raises, alternating for 16, toes wide, squatting down, hands on the hips, shoulders back and down. Here we go. One, two, sit nice and low. Three, four, you've got it. Five, six, seven, eight. That's it. Test is out, back is flat. If you find that your shoulders are coming forward a little bit, just try to pull them back and down. You've got this. Two more. Two, one. Up to standing, swimmers, arms up, pull them back, pull the abdominals in. Here we go. 10, and up. Nine, and we're gonna try to get as much range of motion behind your back, really pull behind that back. Breathe through it. Got this, chin back, chest lifted. Three more, three. Two, abs are in, one, and release. All right, one more set of squatting calf raises. Nice wide stance, sitting down in that squat, hands on the hips, shoulders back. Let's go for 16. One, two, raising through that calf. That's it, chest out, back flat. If you find the shoulders are rolling forward slightly, pull them back and down. That's it, chin tucked back. You can do it. Four. Three, two, one. All right, shake it out. One more swimmer. Arms up, pull them back, chest lifted, chin back. Here we go. Ten, full range of motion. Nine, keep that chest lifted. Eight, breathing deeply. Seven, that's it. Six, five. Four, three, almost there. Two, shoulders should be fatiguing a little bit. One, Whew. all right, shake it out. Grab a water break here, catch a breather. We're gonna go to another round. So in this round, we're gonna focus on glutes with a bit of a pulse. So feet shoulder width apart. Once again, this does take a bit of balance. So if you'd like to hold on to the back of a chair or a wall, feel free. So we're gonna stand tall with the heel that we're lifting, we're going to press that heel down, toe up, so that the ankle is flexed. Then we're going to pulse and down. That's one, we're going for eight. Chest lifted, chin back, eight on the right side. Here we go, pulse, down, pulse, down. That's it, pulse. As you can see, it takes a bit more balance than your standard single glute raise. So a little bit of a challenge balance-wise, but we're really focusing on that glute contraction, 45 degrees and back, and lower it down. Shift over to the other side. Chest lifted, shoulders back, heel down. Here we go. Eight, down, seven, down, six. Now you may find the balance is a little bit harder on one side than the other. That's okay. If you're working on balance, that's fine. You can also hold on to the wall. One more, down. Ooh, all right, shake out those glutes. We're going to try the kickbacks. If you have dumbbells, go ahead and add them. If not, elbows up, push the chest out. Follow me in the body weight move. Here we go for 10. 10, really press back. Nine, I really want you to focus on the back of the upper arm. Push, extending and contracting through those triceps. Four, three, two, one. Back to those glutes. All right. So feet shoulder width apart, hands on the hips, chest lifted, shoulders back, heel down with soft knee bend. Let's go for eight pulses. Eight, seven, that's it. Six, five, four. Keep that heel down. Ankle flex. Two more. Two, one, down. All right, switch it out. Other side. Heel down, toe up, chest lifted. Here we go. Pulse, down, pulse, down. That's it, you're going 45 degrees back, but 
don't forget about that ankle flexion. That is one of the keys to a good boot raise. Two more, two, one, and lower it down. Ooh, all right, going back to upper body, try some kickbacks, pulls forward, elbows up, chest out, let's go. 10, nine, press it back, eight, really squeeze, seven, six, five, four, three, you're almost there, two, one, standing heat raises, last round of these, feet shoulder width apart, chest lifted, shoulders back, heel down, here we go, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Over to that left leg, heel down, toe up, shoulders left, back and lifted. Here we go. Eight, seven, that's it. Six, press it back. Five, squeeze through that glute. Four, three, Two, one more, one. And triceps, feet shoulders width apart, elbows up, chest pushed out. Let's go. Ten, nine, press it back. Eight, keep that chest out. Seven, six, really contract through those triceps. Breathing deeply. You've got it. Two, and one. All right, grab water right here. Get your breather one final round. Ooh, all right. So, last leg round, we're going to take it into a squat, but this time with a gorilla knee raise. So, we're going to squat, right knee with a twist, eight right, eight left. So, nice wide stance, shoulders back. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, we're going straight into the left side. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Palms up, elbows in, a little bit of mobility for the shoulders. From here, we're going to drive those thumbs out, keeping the elbows in. Open that chest, squeeze the shoulders, and back. Let's go for 10. Here we go. One. Exhale on that rotation. Two. Pull the shoulder blades back and together. Three. You've got this. Chin tuck back. Chest lifted. Breathe deeply. Working through that mobility in the shoulder. Try to open that chest. Pull back and together. Two more. Two, one, back to those drill squats, right leg. Widen that stance, here we go. Squat, knee raise, that's it. Add that little bit of a twist. That's it, three to go, three, two, into that left side, one, let's go. Eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, shoulder rotations. Here we go. Palms up, elbows in for 10. Exhale, 10. Keep those elbows in nice and tight to the torso. Nine, rotating through the shoulder, pulling the elbows back. That's it. You've got this. Four more. Four. Three, two, and one. Just two sets there, and we're gonna stretch it out. All right, let's switch up those hip flexors. Back with the right leg, forward with the left. Place your hands on your hips, and push those hips forward. Chest lifted, chin tucked back, roll the shoulders back. That's it. Stretch out that hip flexor. If you'd like to get a little bit lower in a lunge, you can always drop that back knee down a little bit more, a little bit more of a stretch through the hips. But it really just depends on how your hips are feeling and any tightness. 
Inhale. Exhale. Raise the abdomen over to the other side. Step back left, forward right. Push those hip bones forward. Shoulders back, chin back, and lean into it. Pressing the hip bones forward once again. If you'd like a little bit of a deeper stretch in those hips, get down a little lower, raising that back leg heel. Deep breath in. And out. Once more, deep breath in. And out. Gently lift up and out of it. And step it together. From here, let's stretch our chest. Clasp those hands behind. Roll the shoulders back. Tuck the chin back. And relax through those shoulders. Deep breath in. And out. Once more, deep breath in. And out. We're going to take this into a modified triangle pose. So when you're taking it to a wide stance, place your right palm facing up. Bend your right knee ever so slightly, just to tuck that arm inside the thigh. Place your palm just on top, push the bum back. Take up to look up to your thumb. Deep breath in. And out. Relaxing the shoulder, drawing the abdominals in. Deep breath in. And out. Gently rotate back to center. Take it over to the other side. From here, slight bend in that knee, palm facing up, tuck just inside the thigh, place the palm on top, push the bum back, rotate up, look up to your thumb. Deep breath in. Out. Draw the shoulder blade back, pull the abdominals in. Once more, deep breath in. And out. Rotate back to center. Now we lift up out of it and let's stretch out that upper back. Palms facing out. Rash through the shoulders, pushing your shoulder blades outward, pulling them apart. Breathing through this. Let yourself round. Let that head come forward slightly. Deep breath in. And out. And relax those shoulders down. Let's stretch out that neck. So from here, take your left hand, place it just over top of your right ear. Gently guide your head down to the left side. With your right hand, press the fingertips down toward the floor so that you're elongating through the neck to the right side. Breath in. Out. Relaxing the shoulder down, deep breath in, and out. Remove the hand, lift the head up and over to the other side. Take that left hand, place the fingertips just over top of that left ear, guide the hand down so that the head is leaning. Take your fingertips and press them down toward the floor. Deep breath in. And out. Drop that shoulder as much as you can. Deep breath in. And out. And the hand release the head. Take a deep breath in. Reach up. Exhale. We're all done for today. Thanks for joining me, everyone. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I will see you next week. Have a good one. Thank you.